Good evening. Welcome to the Mayoral Candidates Forum and welcome to Teachers College. We're thrilled to host this important conversation about the future of education, the arts, and culture in New York City. And we could not have asked for better partners to co-sponsor this forum with than Young Audiences New York and 1% for Culture. My thanks to the candidates here this evening and to our wonderful moderators, Kurt Anderson and Leonard Lopate. This is sure to be an engaging and productive discussion of the candidates' plans to support education, arts, and culture, which as we know are indispensable to the creative, intellectual, and economic vitality of this city. Teachers College has a long history of involvement with New York City schools, as well as with arts and cultural organizations. We are this year celebrating our 125th anniversary, so it's a very long involvement. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and uh, the occasion has caused us to reflect on our historical impact and involvement. For example, we founded the field of arts education here at Teachers College. We founded the nation's first community school. And right now, we're partnering with Harlem Schools in, in intensive work in education, the arts, and um, community well-being. We're eager to make an even greater difference in communities throughout New York City in the years to come. In the spirit of this TC legacy, we look forward to working with the next mayor to ensure a successful future for our young people and for all New Yorkers. Enjoy the evening. Good evening, I'm Robert Reisenberg, board president of Young Audiences New York. Uh, I've been asked to introduce Kurt Anderson tonight, but first, before I do that, I would like to thank our partners uh, who have helped make this evening possible, Teachers College and 1% for Culture. Uh, it's truly been a team effort. I would also like to extend our gratitude to our moderators and the candidates who are here with us tonight. This year, Yanni, Young audiences celebrate 60 years of impacting the lives of New York City's students through the transformative power of arts education. So it is fitting that here tonight in the greatest cultural city in the world, we are part of an event that will shine a light on the importance of the arts to all our lives. Now to Kurt Anderson. You all know him as the host of NPR Studio 360. He is also an author of several novels, a regular contributor to publications such as Vanity Fair, The New York Times, and Time Magazine. And if that's not impressive enough, he has written and produced numerous television projects for the broadcast networks and HBO, and has co-authored the long-running off-Broadway theatrical review entitled Loose Lips. We are very fortunate to have Kurt and his associate, Leonard Lopate, as our moderators. Thank you, and enjoy the evening. Uh, I think um, my, my job has already been accomplished, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to carry on in any case. Um, uh, I was introduced as uh, Frederick Beinecke. Actually, I'm called Rick uh, Beinecke. I'm uh, one of the founding uh, members of the steering committee of 1% um, for Culture. And on, uh, on behalf of 1% um, for Culture, it's my pleasure to welcome you all here tonight. And uh, I'm, we're all really impressed with uh, a day such as this, one of the most beautiful days in New York that you're here and not on the beaches of New York, but uh, this will be a really interesting evening. Um, our uh, organization is a coalition of arts organizations, nonprofit organizations in New York. It presently is a coalition of 530 organizations throughout the city, throughout all, all the boroughs of the city in support of, of our effort. Uh, we thank our, our co-hosts um, for uh, uh, being our partners in this uh, very important uh, event, Teachers College and Young Audiences uh, New York. <clears throat> and we're uh, actually, all, all of us are delighted with the turnout uh, that's here tonight. 1% for uh, Culture uh, has been joined, has joined <clears throat> with prominent leaders uh, in the business, uh, civic, and cultural communities in seeking to increase city funding <coughs> for culture to 1% uh, 
uh, of the mu municipal expense budget. Right now, the city's support for culture is currently less than one quarter of that rather modest uh, level. <clears throat> Our city is host to thousands of cultural and creative artists and over uh, 1,300 nonprofit cultural organizations. These organizations span from performing arts organizations of, of uh, music, dance, and theater uh, to museums, theaters, zoos, botanical gardens, and on to arts and ethnic festivals in the city. We're pleased that culture will be one of the focal points of this forum tonight uh, and are very interested in what the mayoral candidates uh, will have to say about the city's support for culture. Culture represents a significant contribution to our economy and to the growing and sustained safe and vibrant communities in each of our boroughs, all five boroughs. Culture represents the best of New York. It represents and is education. It improves the quality of life in our city and it generates jobs. Our cultural organization are major attractions for tourists to the city and consequently significantly impact our hospitality industry. I'm pleased now to introduce Leonard Lopate, who is a Peabody Award winner. I just learned uh, moments ago that Kurt also has his own award, uh, both important, important awards in their uh, industry. Uh, and Leonard, as you know, is the longtime host of the Leonard Lopez show, show on uh, WNYC. He, uh, Leonard is uh, over 28 years, uh, interviewed many, many prominent can candidates um, in, in uh, all professions, and uh, we're looking forward to his joining uh, tonight with Kurt Anderson to um, Inter interview the panel of uh, candidates we have here. Uh, I welcome you, Leonard, and uh, appreciate you and Kurt taking on this responsibility. Th thank you very much. So, Kurt, do you um, want to lay out how we're going to do this? Yeah, as you see, there are only three chairs, which is to say you're not going to have 16 candidates up here. You're going to have one at a time for exactly 12 minutes apiece. It's uh, exactly well, more or less. Uh, we're talking about politicians. At, at, at first, <laughs> it, it, I said, oh, is this a sort of a speed dating event? Uh, but then I realized since education is one of our uh, big subjects, maybe it's more like the oral exams that uh, graduate students take. And because cultural is one of our subjects, maybe it's more like a series of 16 one-act plays. Uh, pick, your, pick your trope.